discussions where you'd be sitting in a design review and somebody say that's not realistic and you're like okay what does that have to, like explain to me why that's interesting because in the real world i have to write up lists of stuff i have to go to the grocery store to buy and i've never thought to myself that realism is fun i go play games to have fun and so we had to come up with some notion of, of what fun was we knew it was an ad hoc definition and it was the degrees to which the game recognizes and responded to the player's choices and actions, right? You know, in behavioral science, you would say we we're explicitly talking about what were reinforcers and what the reinforcement schedules were, right? At that point in time, that was a useful way of making design decisions. The point I would make is if I go up to a wall and shoot it, it me, to me, it feels like the wall is ignoring me. I'm getting a narcissistic injury when the world is ignoring me. So does this, like to me, I was trying to convey to the user a sense of, yes, you were making choices. Yes, you were progressing, which meant the game had to acknowledge that back to you. If you shoot at a wall, there have to be decals. If you kill a bunch of Marines, the Marines have to run away from you, right? You have to have this sense of the game acknowledging and responding to the, the choices and actions and progressions that you've made. Otherwise, it loses any, any sort of impact.